What's going on, guys? Still trying to build my computer at 10 bucks a week. Almost there. Mm. Power source came today. So um, basically what I'm doing tonight is hard drive's the last piece I'm missing. I'm going to assemble all the other parts so that um, hopefully I can fire it on and see a BIOS. This is pretty sweet. Came with some cable management stuff. That's funny. Every part's got a sticker. <laughs> they want me to put on my case. All right. Power source is bolted in. And it's plugged in and turned off. Which typically they say you can touch a power source that's plugged in and turned off and it'll discharge your static electricity. However, this entire power source is painted. So I don't know how true that is. Uh, that's the parts. Graphics card, RAM, processor, motherboard, fan. Um, yeah, if we can get into the BIOS, then, then we're made in the shade. Let's get the motherboard out. Face shield. Gotta figure out how to. <laughs> this is a big old box of parts. How do I put this fan on? I don't know. Oh, gosh. I'm building this since I took me so long to save up for all the parts. It, the building is nerve wracking. Um, I just went through, as you can see here, that the um, the CPU is set, thermal paste, and the fan, which are like the three coolest parts to watch. But the thing is. Um, the setting of the CPU was talked up so much as something that was difficult and weird. And if you touch the pins on the bottom at all, then you could uh, bork your CPU. So if you look here, um, the RAM slots, it encroaches on the, the, the last RAM slot, but I've only got two cards. So I'm going to stick with it for now. This is uh, blowing air. This is blowing air into the fins. And then the, my exhaust fan is going to be right here. I'm going to set the GPU while it's inside the case. But, uh, Corsair Vengeance. This is 8 gigabytes of RAM. And this is done in the... It doesn't show up very well, but there's two sets of slots here that are crammed together. Black slots and bright yellow ones. Just like that. Now this guy goes in. And I will at this point. At this point, I gotta consult the manual, I believe. Switch channel. I don't even see that on this board. That's no, number twenty-four, page twenty-nine. There it is, in the corner. Uh, let's get the GPU out. This is a GTX 750 Ti, last generation's hardware, but I'm expect to run nicely on all the games that I wish to play with. All right, there's a good bit of case I can handle it from. There it is. First of all, I got some work to do in terms of cable management. Look, look in this case. Look at that. Just look. <laughs> that is the worst example of cable management I think I've ever seen. Um, yeah, so that needs, that's going to take some work. Thankfully, since I haven't bought a hard drive yet, there's no bays here. There aren't any. So, my plan right now, I can put 
cables that are unused in there. These I can zip tie together. Same with these. And then hopefully, I'm gonna get the panels back on here and we're gonna try and boot this thing up. It won't go to, a, to an operating system, but if I can get into the BIOS, and I know that processor is, is okie dokie. All right, guys. What we have here now is the moment of truth, more or less. Again, there's no hard drive. There's no way I'll be able to get into a... <laughs> that's a mess. There's no way I'll be able to get into an operating system. I mean, I have a USB with a live boot for Linux, but not worried about that at the moment. I'll do that another time. Uh, right now, I want to try and get into the BIOS. If I can get into the BIOS, then I'll tie down some cables, put the sides on this case, call it a night. This is it. <laughs> oh, I didn't turn on the power source. Okay. Alright, power source is switched on. Take two. Oh. It's so quiet. Yeah, it's not fine in the. Oh boy. Alright, well. Lesson learned. It didn't work. I was pretty devastated when it didn't post, but as you can see, haha, -ha, it's running! I have been running Linux Mint for about a month on this computer now, and let's take a look at what we got under the hood. Alright, so I did manage to get a hold of a Western Digital 1 terabyte hard drive, which I stuck in there. Uh, and what was happening was, well, to tell you the truth, I'm not sure what was happening, why I didn't post, but in order to solve it, um, I went on some forums and the advice I got, well, two most really important pieces of advice. One, don't jump to conclusions, do a thorough diagnostic, and two, start with resetting the CMOS, which was what happened. Now you'll, you'll see, I don't know how well you can see it, but right about, Wow, you can't even see my finger. Yeah, right about there. See that? Boop, that little disc. CR32 battery. Pulled that out, let it wait about 10 minutes. And then somewhere down there, you'll never see it in this shot, but there's a little jumper that I moved to the right and then moved back again. <sighs> that did it. That got it to post, and that got me into the BIOS, and then once I got this hooked up, it was just a matter of getting a good, uh, uh, getting a good Linux distro up, and I was in. I didn't make any provisions for Wi-Fi, so I had to buy one of these, which was about 16 bucks. And you can see, uh, I, whew, I don't know if you can see it at all here, but right in there, there's a little a, a little uh, PCI card. See, it sticks out the back with a couple of antennas. That's enough to get me on the Wi-Fi. Now this thing runs, uh, I think it was uh, 300 megabits per second. Um, I can beat that if I'm willing to put a little bit more money into it. Also, this thing does not have Bluetooth connectivity, which is a problem. I'm, I'm going to need that in the future. But um, I'm rocking and rolling, man. It's been great. So that's it. I was able to build a fully functioning uh, gaming computer on about a $500 budget using only my $10 a week allowance and uh, a few things I was able to get from uh, by, by selling things off of eBay. Um, and it, it's here. <laughs> it's not the flashiest case in the world, but it's been a lot of fun. All right. Expect to see some PC gaming videos. I don't know. Sometime.